Hey, what is up, fellow Raiders? This is Vulcan Dan, Raid Shadow Legends video here, and we are back with more Sacred Shards from another one of my clanmate right here because yeah uh, in my previous video i pulled 37 sacred shards one uh some from my account and another set from another clan mates account and yeah 37 sacred shards in total i'll put it in the pinned comment down below to let you see how many or should i say how few legendaries i got from those 37 shards it's crazy but yeah we have another clan mate here we are not going to end this weekend on a bad note we have 22 sacred shards uh, on the last day of this weekend's times two sacred event and he told me that he really wants uh ray zavia or mashalid so really the hard hitters in this game or a second trenda yeah that's you know i would love a trenda i i don't have one myself in my own account but the one champion that he would, he would really love to have is a Lissandra, which also one of my most wanted champion in my own account. I don't have a Lissandra yet. So yeah, we'll see if we can get him uh, some of those champions. We have 22 Sacred Shards. I would think I would not have the same uh, bad luck that I did in my previous video, but that's why we pull the shards. All right, let's go. 22 Sacreds last day times two sacred shard event stop giving me purples i'd want i want to see gold ursine ironhide come on it's it lagged a bit but <laughs> magnar yeah uh would love to have him in my own own account i actually don't have him because i think he was part of a fusion so i fuse him for that uh whatever that legendary was before and i haven't pulled him since uh, really good HP nuker. Yes, there we go. Black Knight, um, not really what he was looking for, uh, but we'll take it. You know, we've had a really, really bad Sacred Shard weekend. Uh, Black Knight, I don't know if this is a dupe or not for uh, this clan, clan mate of mine, but yeah, really uh, doesn't really get to see a lot of playing time. Uh, he has an A3 that uh, attacks all enemies. Damage increases according to the amount of HP this champion has lost. So kind of a uh, suicidal kind of champion. And A2 places a continuous heal and increased defense buff on all allies for two turns. So he has a nuke A3, uh, but he will nuke harder if he has uh, if uh, the, the lower his HP is. So it might be good to put him in a swift parry set to have that uh, unkillable or chance to proc the unkillable. Uh, yeah, continuous heal and increased defense on his A2, which is kind of weird. All right. And A1 that attacks one enemy and a chance to place provoke for one turn. Uh, yeah, should really... I don't really know where to use this champion. I guess he has some support in his uh, A two an attack base a3 and an hp base a1 so kind of weird there places an unkillable buff on this champion for one turn if incoming damage exceeds uh 15 max hp in one attack so yeah so he does place unkillable on himself on a two turn cooldown though yeah uh i don't know if my my clanmate will use this champion or not but it's a it's a lego we'll take it hopefully i do get him a few more Let's go. Vergus. Vergus. Very good for uh, the Scarab boss in Doom Tower. Let's keep on going. He's looking for that, uh, again, that uh, Ray Zavia. Well, he, we, we got the Royal Guard. He might need this for Doom Tower, of course, uh, with this uh, huge uh, A A2 nuke right here. Take down enemy max HP skill. Hope you need that Royal Guard. I got I got you one. Mass Fearmonger. Again, it's not it's too early for Halloween. We got uh Captain Tamilla, pretty good support champion for the Dark Elves if you're missing some healing. Wow, okay, so second Lego we have Razin. So I'm pretty sure this guy has Razin because of course he is a permanent fusion. Very good uh for all of those new players playing this game, I highly su suggest that you go for Razin, fuse him. He is a permanent fusion in, in, in this game. He will help you in so many different areas 
in the game especially early on if you're struggling in fire knight he does have this triple hit a1 he has that uh, aoe decreased turn meter by 100 percent can also be useful in fire knight can be useful in arena as well and this uh a2 that plays this decreased defense and weaken can be good for the clan boss when paired with his triple hitter a1 with giant slayer yeah razin pretty good pretty sure this this uh clan mate of mine has him but so far went a lot better than the 37 sacred shards uh that uh that i just did a while ago two legos still no sign of the ones that he mentioned ray zavia mashalid trunda or a lissandra let's go let's go zelata we have 10 more sacred shards to go Ugo, another great epic, especially for uh, Doom Tower with that decreased defense and that block uh, block buffs. Definitely one of the the epics that I frequently use in the in the Doom Tower. Also has some nice heals on his uh, A3. Skull Crusher uh, pulled him very early in my own account. Really a game changer. Uh, this uh, whole team. Counter-attack and ally protection. I use him in my early clan boss teams with that counter-attack. Really helpful. A second Ugo right here. And yeah. Uh, oh, there you go. Third. And we got Karato Fox Hunter, which was, of course, uh, just the fusion champion that we had uh, just recently. Yeah. Karato. So maybe up. Pre pretty sure he did the fusion. So this could be a faction guardian, a dupe. Uh, can uh, boost his uh, Shadowkin legendaries. We got three Legos. Yes, this did not disappoint. But still, none of the champions that, that he mentioned, hopefully he's happy with these three, Razen, Karato, and uh, Black Knight. Two of them are fusion champions. We got a fourth one. We got Rishtof the Bold. He was recently buffed. He, he used to be terrible. Uh, now he has this AoE uh, decreased turn, uh, decreased targets max HP uh, with his uh, A1. Has a triple hitter A2 that each hit places a 5% poison on all enemies for two turns. This A2 uh, became so much better after the buff. Uh, can also be paired with someone like a Zavia. Anyone who can uh, explode those poisons, he does place a lot of poison. So that's three poisons per enemy on the entire enemy team. Uh, A3 attacks one enemy. Uh, critical damage increases by 20% for each poison debuff on the target. Stacks up to 100%. So that's five poisons. Uh, if you have five poisons, uh, crit damage will be plus 100%. Yeah, he is a decent champion. Now, I do have him. I did pull him quite early in my account. Uh, he was sitting in, in my vault for the longest time, but now I do uh, try to put him in Faction Wars. Uh, he does deal some good damage there to make those Faction Wars run a lot faster. But yeah, this is nice redemption. Uh, we still have one more Sacred Shard to go. Four Legos in 22 Sacred Shards. Awesome, awesome. All right, there you go. 22. Four Legos. Finally, <laughs> the curse has been lifted. But yeah, uh, how did yours go? Because I was really disappointed in my previous video. Uh, I had the feeling that maybe there was a bug, that the times to event was not live, even though it shows in the game that it is. Uh, but how did your shard pulls go? I hope yours went as good as this one. Four Legos in 22 shards. Those are pretty good chances. Uh, hope yours went as well as this one. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you had fun. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of these shard pull videos and some free-to-play content. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one.